welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a another makeup look, of course, but using my Blue Blood Palette by Jeffree Star. First I'm going to go in with this NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer, and I'm going to use this to prime my eyelids. I didn't want to do this before because I figured it would look even more weird. Than just having eyebrows it is so cold in my room that everything's like hard I forgot to wet my beauty blender so just gonna be dry doing this now going into the palette I'm first gonna dip in with the shade wealthy which is just like a skin tone, my skin tone color. And I'm just going to use this to set the base that I just laid down. I don't know what type of look I should do. Yesterday for Instagram I did a super blue cut crease look. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. If you haven't seen it, go follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of looks there. I'm going to go in with the shade Flourishing, which is this turquoise color. And I think I'm just going to do a turquoise look. I'm just packing this color onto the outer corner. I'm just laying down the color and I'm going to blend later. I'm just going to build it up to get it super opaque. I'm now going to go with the shade Mint Tea just to blend that out. Next, I'm going to go with the shade Cremented and just use this to darken up the outer corner and kind of cut the crease right here because I'm going to do like a half cut crease. I'm sorry I'm not talking too much in this video. I was watching like true crime stories and I really just want to like watch more and that's what I'm thinking about. Then I'm going to go back in with this brush that I used to apply Flourishing, the first color. I'm just going to use that to start blending out that color. I'm actually going in with the cremated color on this brush and applying more to my outer corner and using that to help blend a little bit. And then I'm going to go in the shade Mint Tea, which is that light shade we used to blend out the turquoise shade. I'm just using that to blend out everything. Now I'm going to cut the crease halfway. I'm just going to go with this brush and blend over the edge. Now going in with the shade Entitled, and then just spray it with setting spray, and then I'm going to apply this like on the center.
Then it went to shade Colonin. And I'm just going to apply this on the inner part where I didn't apply the last shadow. And I'm just blending those two together with the brush I used to apply the turquoise. So I don't want to mess this up with a wing liner, so I just want to like smudge some black or something along my lash line. So I'm just going to take the shade Undertaker, which is the darkest shade in the whole palette. So I'm taking that and smudging that with a little pencil brush just along my lash line and I'm kind of blending it into my outer corner just to make it cohesive and now I'm ready for lashes and I'm gonna use my dodo lashes in the style D115 while I'm waiting for my lashes to get tacky I'm going to apply this serum this is from Claire's. This is like Korean skincare. This is a moisturizing serum, so I really like it because I have dry skin. I got it in my hair. And it smells really weird, but I kind of like it. Now I'm just going to pop on this lash. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my face. I've already applied my primer and everything, so I'm going to go in with foundation, and I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Foundation in the color Fair 05, and I'm taking this Real Techniques Buffing Brush to apply it. I forgot to mix it my glow drops. Oh well. It's not going to be as dewy. Because this is a more matte foundation. I'm just taking some of that foundation on my beauty blender and applying it under my eyes. Instead of a concealer. Then I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia contour, contour, contour stick in the shade Fawn. I'm just going to use this to sculpt my face. Now I'm likely going to set that whole base with my Airspun Loose Powder. Now I'm going to contour using my Gradient Blush Kit by Anastasia, going in with the shade Dusk. Now I'm just quickly going to finish up my lower lash line. Just using a combination of all the colors that I used on my top. Now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water Prep, Set, Refresh. 
and use it to set my face and then before it completely dries I'm going to highlight and I'm going to use the shade Starburst and Marshmallow mixed together from my Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. I have absolutely no idea what color to do for lips. I'm just going to go in with Jeffree Star's Weirdo Liquid Lipstick because I don't really know what other color to do, so I'm just going to do black. I overdrew my lip a little bit too much on this side, but I'm just going to ignore that. So this right here is my completed look using the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what videos you would like to see next, what type of looks, different kinds of videos. Whatever you would like to see, just let me know down below. I'm always in need of ideas of videos to film, especially if they're not makeup tutorials. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in my next video.